there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Yes, we are playing more games that are part of the PlayStation Plus for December 2016. This is Hyper Void. I don't know what Hyper Void is. I don't know what it is. I've got a feeling. It's a shmup. Yeah. Anybody got the idea? It's pretty, it feels like a very shmuppy. Do you think it's a shmup? I think it's a shmup. Let's try this shmup. So again, this is actually one of the games that are available on the EU PS Plus for the month of December 2016. And um, essentially, uh, these PS Plus games that I'm actually going through, I'm either I enjoy them or I don't. If I don't enjoy them, we do this very quick. If I do enjoy them, this becomes an episode of Cola Lupin. So either way, we all do very well out of it. So what have we got for this? The audio's a little bit low there, so we can let it go up a little bit. After the supernova explosion, as in RDA-69, enemies from all races started raiding our frontiers. With no clue on the cause of this sudden universal hostility, a special force has been prepared to carry out a recon mission. That's not how you spell recon. That's reckon mission. You fly RM-24 as a combat and defense specialist. You and your team will take off from a frontline defense grid and jump the wormhole from QX Qtar to begin the investigation. Stay sharp. Well, that's our mission given to us. Well, let's rock and roll. Hyper void in the void. Hyper void in the void. Weapons one, two, and three. So X to do. Dash if need be. Move. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Now, if you may have noticed, we might have actually played a little bit of this before. Uh, back in the day, whenever I was uh, first started doing this uh, channel stuff. I did. So uh, yeah, I got distracted there while I was actually like looking at the codes for this or bits for this. This um, game I actually tried for the first time as a demo a long while back. Um, so. I'm not too sure how much of this I will play through for experience, but it is just a scrolling shmup from a slightly different angle. There's not not too much to really explain to you guys. I mean, if you've never played a single shmup, this is Space Invaders that just has an ongoing kind of like progressive plot, moving you further and further into space with some bosses to fight. Now, this bit here, where you're actually traveling through a wormhole, Reminds me a lot more of what would be the best game to describe it as uh, Tempest. Have you ever heard of Tempest? That's what this is like. Ah, oh, get all the Tempest in D. Gone by. Woohoo! Alright, would help if I didn't have a control about the. Oh! Well, it's not attacking me. It's like that. And that thing's go past, but I didn't get 100%. I'm invincible! Oh yeah, this feels good! What the? Oh! Hurt myself. By the way, careful, all good and grand. So yeah, um, if you ever played Tempest, it was well known for having a really awesome rock and soundtrack. Um, this feels just about the same. Um, cool, funky tunes, and fun gameplay. That is repetitive as hell, but you can't really fault it for being good, you know? Oh, man. So it's a wonderful light trippy experience. I mean, Thumper and a bunch of other games are out now that are part of the PlayStation VR experience. I could see why this might have appealed, uh, putting it in as a PlayStation VR game, or not, not as a VR, as a PlayStation Plus game for this month, whenever there's a bunch of people playing those kind of games already uh, on their wonderful VR systems. This would be actually a pretty chilled experience to play in VR as well, I suppose, just because you're a bit immersed in this world, but again, it's all being controlled. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Die! No, I'm pretty sure that killed everything. Um, yeah, the... I was going to say, I completely forgot. 
the, the difficulty level in the first few levels do not really feel like a, a good representation of what the gameplay is completely like. So, like, you can see that I'm just swaying back and forth here and not really fully paying attention. I can still survive pretty fine. The, um... The higher levels of this do get a little bit more intense. But, um... Obviously, they're trying to on round people at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Josh won and actually got hit by the other. Ah, uh, it feels good. Shoot message icon, where's the message? Boom! Alright, so what else have we been told? As we know, the vacation conditions for our mission are unique. We've never faced a race that dares to attack while traversing wormholes. This requires high concentration and skill to navigate on the event horizon, or else the gravitational force will pull and de degenerate you into pure null. Well, yeah, such so just warn me. Tell me how to dodge. Look at this! I can dodge! I can dodge! <laughs> Alright, so we can fire into this mess. I ain't got much else to really tell you guys about. I mean, Hyper Void is exactly as you saw it there now. Oh, Hyper Mode unlocked. Did I? Oh, yeah, and the level's completed in Hyper Mode. So, yeah, that's... That's Hyper Void. I mean, it's a it's an old-school shmup. It's essentially... Uh, space Invaders. Shouldn't really expect much more than that. Um, if you're going to get your experience... Of a first person, or not uh, of a schmuffy shooter. You couldn't ask for much more, but it's an old game, and I'm willing to bet a lot of people have actually picked it up at some point in the cheap, or at least played the demo of this, so yeah, I mean, it's again a bit of a dud from this month. Whoa! It's a bit of a, a dead ass game from a perspective of. Whoa! What's that open? The armor class invincible? What? Remember that. There you go. Ha. So right, we're just gonna end up in this level because there's nothing really kind of like add to my uh, thoughts about this. There's all plenty of gameplay to be had in this. Um, not really a massively impressive game to be having as part of PS Plus, but um, sometimes the months are misses, and this is feeling like a definitely a missed month. Uh, Hyper Void is available for you to pick up and grab for free as part of PS Plus, but it's also, uh, of course, available on cheap at the moment as well on the PlayStation Network. If you like it and you want a bit of an old school shmuppy experience, it's probably going to keep you entertained for a fair amount of time. It's not super difficult, but of course, with the Hyper Void and all the unlocks in it, you'll probably get better, better, more experience out of it. I'd say this is a game for older players. The younger players will probably get bored with its format very, very quickly. So yeah guys, that's all of my opinions on Hyper Void. Even though I've just played through the first level, I've played through it before. I will actually be, whenever you think about it, if I look over on this side, you'll be able to check out the ones that I've uh, played previously. I'll probably link to the original video of Hyper Void where I played further in the demo. And of course, you can always hit the subscribe button up here if you want to see more comments and opinions and thoughts from me at any time as they come out. And again, like I said, play this over on this side over here, up there, all on the side. So um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.